All right. So, first question that you probably have is, what's a green light? Well, green lights mean go. Advance, carry on, continue. On the road, they're set up to give the flow of traffic the right-of-way, and when scheduled properly, more vehicles catch more green lights in succession. They say proceed. In our lives, they are an affirmation of our way. Their approvals, support, praise, gifts, gas on our fire, attaboys, and appetites. Their cash money, birth, springtime, health, success, joy, sustainability, innocence, and fresh starts. You see, we love green lights. They don't interfere with our direction. They're easy. They're like a shoeless summer. They say yes and give us what we want. Green lights can also be disguised as yellow and red lights, a caution, a detour, a thoughtful pause, an interruption, a disagreement, indigestion, sickness, and pain, a full stop, a jackknife, an intervention, failure, suffering, a slap in the face, death. We don't like yellow and red lights. No, they slow us down or stop our flow. They're hard. They're a shoeless winter. They say no, but sometimes give us what we need. Catching green lights is about skill, intent, context, consideration, endurance, anticipation, resilience, speed, and discipline. We can catch more green lights by simply identifying where the red lights are in our life and then change course to hit fewer of them. We can also earn green lights, engineer and design for them. We can create more and schedule them in our future, a path of least resistance. Through force of will, hard work, and the choices we make, we can be responsible for green lights. Catching green lights is also about timing, the world's timing and ours. When we are in the zone, on the frequency, and with the flow, we can catch green lights by sheer luck because we are in the right place at the right time. Catching more green lights in our future can be about intuition, karma, and fortune. Sometimes catching green lights is about fate. Navigating the Autobahn of life in the best way possible is about getting relative with the inevitable at the right time. The inevitability of a situation is not relative. When we accept the outcome of a given situation as inevitable, then how we choose to deal with it is relative. We either persist and continue in our present pursuit of our desired result, pivot and take a new tack to get it, or concede altogether and tally one up for fate. We push on, call an audible, or wave the white flag and live to fight another day. The secret to our satisfaction lies in which one of these we choose to do when. This is the art of living. I believe everything we do in life is part of a plan. Sometimes the plan goes as intended and sometimes it doesn't. That's part of the plan. Realizing this is a green light in itself. The problems we face today eventually turn into blessings in the rearview mirror of life. In time, yesterday's red light leads us to a green light. All destruction eventually leads to construction. All death eventually leads to birth. All pain eventually leads to pleasure. In this life or the next, what goes down will come up. It's a matter of how we see the challenge in front of us and how we engage with it. Persist, pivot, or concede. It's up to us, our choice, every time. This is a book about how to catch more yeses in a world of no's and how to recognize when a no might actually be a yes. This is a book about catching green lights and realizing that the yellows and the reds eventually turn green. Green lights. By design and on purpose. Good luck. Ah, now for a poem. If all that I would want to do would be to sit and talk to you, Would you listen? Matthew McConaughey, age 12. Wink, wink.